So, as an application of uh, stack, let us discuss about the conversion of expressions. So, let's see how the stacks can be used to convert the expressions. So, generally, when you say an expression, let us say a Q be an arithmetic expression, which is not having any parentheses, having some variables and operations or constants and operations. So we have an arithmetic operation. So what we can do is we can find the value of this Q, the arithmetic expression by using a notation called reverse polish notation or we call it as a post picker notation so by using this we can find the value of an arithmetic expression and when you talk about the expression our expressions mostly it uh, consists of the binary operations binary operations is an operator which is acting upon two operands. For example, if we take addition, so how many operands generally are minimum required, A and B, other two operands are required. Similarly, multiplication you can take. So how many operands are required? Two operands are required. That's why it's called as a binary. So binary operations when uh, arithmetic expression Q, may have different level of precedence okay so for an example in a binary operations uh, we have a different level of precedence ranging from highest to lowest so in such expressions the exponentiation exponentiation operation has the highest precedence and uh, multiplication and division having the next highest precedence and uh, the last the layer presence is given for the addition and subtraction so generally we will be having these operators in our uh, expression exponential operator multiplication or division or addition and subtraction one example let us say there is an expression what is this two is an operand and this is an operator. What operator is this? It is an exponentiation operator. Then three, then there is a plus operator. Then there is a, a multiplication operator, again exponential and minus and this one. So if we are having parentheses, then we can use a principle of um, board mass to simplify the expression. But if we don't have a parenthesis, then how do we evaluate the expression? by making use of the precedence okay so now we will look at this expressions the in the binary operations exponentiation is having the highest precedence so first what we do first we evaluate the exponentiation what are the exponentiation we have 2 power 3 and 2 power 2 so 2 power 3 is 8 and 2 power 2 is 4 so that will be evaluated first so that is result in 8 plus 5 into 4 minus 12 by 16. So this method is used only when the parentheses are not used. Then next, what is the next thing? The next one is, again, now if you see, look at the operators, what do we have? Plus multiplication, minus and division. So what are the operators having the highest precedence now? multiplication and division so we will start our precedence from the left side and then we will move to the right side so what will happen now the 5 into 4 will be evaluated so that will be 20 and the next one will be 12 by 6 that will result in 2 so we will get the answer as 8 plus 20 minus 2 now same class of precedence are used here plus and minus now so the order of execution will be from the left. Execution probably from the left. So what is that? First is 20 plus 8. That is 28 minus 2. And what will be the answer? 
26. So this is how an expression will be evaluated normally in the binary, when the binary operations are involved and also when it is parenthesis free, when no parenthesis, the brackets are used. If brackets are used, then we will use the board mass. Then we'll use the board mass. Okay. Now, in order to evaluate the expression, you know, we can convert the expressions into various forms. First, we talk about the uh, Polish notation. Okay. So, what about the expressions that we have discussed in here? These expressions, whether in a simplified form or any anything. This is, we call it as a infix notation. This we call it as an infix notation. And uh, there is another notation that's being used, which is called a Polish notation. What is a Polish notation? So in a Polish notation, it's basically, it is uh, discovered by Jan. And uh, here, the operators are placed before two operands. Operators are placed before two operands. That is a Polish notation. Now, the example of Polish notation is, you can see that it's a binary operator. So before the operands, before the operands, the operators are placed. Here minus, here multiplication and division, like this it is placed, okay? Then what we can do, We can also convert as a place of our operator between the operands, between the operands. So what we can now, we can convert this infix to into polish. How? By placing the operators before the operands. How? So you can see that this is the infix e e expression. Infix expression. What is that? A plus B and it into C. So that is equal to, now if you want to convert it into polish, what do you have to do? We have to place the operand first. So a plus operator is for both A and B. So it is placed here. And uh, the multiplication is operator, uh, it's an operator for A and B, the sum of uh, A, B and C, isn't it? So that is placed again in the front of this plus. So that's how what we can do. We can convert our infix to polish. Understand? So similarly, we can do it like this also. A plus B into C, isn't it? So BC is first, the multiplication is placed in the front. And you see that at the end, what happened? The parentheses are removed here. Parentheses are removed here. And similarly, what we can do, we can convert uh, this plus operator also, and we can place it to the front. So that will become plus operator. So what are these expressions? This is what we call as a Polish notation. Polish notation. And what are these expressions? These expressions are called infix notation. Infix notation. Understand? Infix notation. Okay. Then no parentheses are used. So operations are performed based on positions of the operator under the operands. If it's a binary operator, it will be placed in the front. What it? So like that, we have to carefully uh, see to the procedure and the operand positions and operator positions. Based on that, we have to carefully we have to place our operators. That's a polish. Then there is an another concept called reverse polish notation. In a polish notation, the operators are placed before the operand, like this. For what? For A plus B, infix expression. In a polish notation, we place the operator in the front. Now in a reverse polish, what we do? The operator is placed. Operator is placed after the operands. That is all we call it as a postfix or suffix notation or postfix expression or suffix expression. Understand? So that's called a reverse polish notation. What, how is this? You see that now here, the A plus B infix uh, operation or infix expression, it's written as AB plus. And similarly, 
C minus D is written as CD minus like this, we can convert. So this is an infix operation and this is a postfix operation. These are all postfix operation. Okay. Now, normally when you do the computation, what do you do? We use computers. Okay. So the computers basically it uses the postfix notations. So it, what it does, we generally we input, we input to the computer in the form of infix expression. Then the what the computer will do, it will convert into the postfix notation. Convert it into the postfix notation. Then it evaluates the postfix expression. See that it is not directly, it is not executing the infix expression. It converts the infix expression into postfix expression. What is infix expression? Where operands are placed between the operands. Operator is placed between the operands. Whereas in a postfix, the operate, operator is placed after the operands. So well, it's the postfix operation. How do we do with the help of the stack? So stack is you know, mainly used for converting the postfix, uh, the infix expression into the postfix expression. Okay. We have a dedicated algorithm. We have a dedicated algorithm to convert an infix expression into a postfix expression. Infix expression to postfix expression. If we follow this algorithm, easily we can convert it. If it is one uh, uh, equation like a, a plus b, it's okay. You can easily do it in a manual method. Just if the equation that the infix expression gets complicated, then no, we will not be able to exactly place the operator in the right position. So in order to avoid this, there's a formal algorithm defined here. So we can make use of this algorithm and we can try to convert the infix into the postfix expression. So what are the first step one? So scan the infix expression from left to right. That's the first thing. Whatever the infix expression is given, uh, scan from the left to right. Then, if the scanned character is an operand, and only the condition is if it is an operand, if it is an operand, append it with final infix to postfix string. Okay, so we will be uh, discussing an example also. How do we convert it? So with infix to postfix string. Okay, so what is this part? This is for operand. This part operand. If it is What else will be there in the expression? Let's say this is a simple, a simple expression, a plus b, a plus b. Then what will be there? You have a character, have a character and a, that's operand, and also you have an operator. Then you will, you will be scanning the operator also, okay? So else, else means you will be scanning an operator. Okay, so when you scan an operator, then precedence also comes to picture. If the precedence order of the scanned operator, scanned operator is greater than the precedence order of the operator in the stack, precedence order of the operator in the stack, push it onto the stack, push it onto the stack, or the stack is empty, or the stack contains this uh, curly brace and square bracket and the parenthesis. Anything is there, just push the operator onto the stack. Okay, when, in the case, when the precedence, the higher precedence, which one is having higher precedence? Which one is having higher precedence? The incoming, the scanned operator. Okay, then the operator in the stack, next. Else. Else means what? The scanned operator is having the lowest precedence. Okay. So else means what? The scanned operator is having the lowest precedence. Then what we have to do? Pop all the operators from the stack. Pop all the operators from the stack which are greater than or equal to, to the scanned operator equal to the scanned operator. Okay, that means what? 
the operators in the stack is having the higher precedence. Those operators must be taken out and would be popped to the first big string. After doing that, push the scanned operator to the stack. Push the scanned operator to the stack. Okay. So if you encounter the parenthesis while popping, then stop there. Then stop there and push the scanned operator into the stack. Into the stack. So we are appending in the postfix string in one place. And other side, we are also we are adding the content onto the stack. Okay. The third one is that means the fourth step is what? If the scanned operator, if the scanned operator is what the parenthesis, square bracket, or a curly brace, then push it onto the stack. Push it to the stack. Directly you can push it to the stack. Okay. If the scanned operator if the scanned operator is closed parenthesis, if the scanned operator is the closing parenthesis and the closing square bracket or closing uh, curly brace, then pop the stack and output it until we encounter the open brackets. Open brackets. And finally, what we have to do, we have to discard both the parenthesis discard both the parenthesis because in the postfix expression there won't be any parenthesis only operands and operators will be used and uh, operators are placed after the operands then repeat from steps two to six repeat from step two to six from here to here until infix expression is scanned until infix expression is scanned so now quickly, if you review it, when you scan, when you scan an infix expression, you may get a variable or you may get an operator and you may get some other variable or you may get an open bracket and you may get uh, some expression here and uh, then you may get some square bracket, isn't it? So accordingly, if it is a character, what you have to do? Append it straight away to the postfix string. If it is the operator, compare the precedence of the operator. Compare the precedence of the operator. Higher precedence must be kept here in the stack. And if you're having any lower precedence, that should be pushed on to the postfix expression. Okay. So that's how. And also, when you deal with the brackets, first we have to push this open brackets onto the stack and when you encounter when you scan a character of closed brackets that should be that should be you know but that time you have to pop the content from the stack okay so that's how it basically goes now finally print the output okay pop the output from the stack until the stack is and not empty okay next let us say this is an expression. This is an expression. What is the expression? A plus A plus within bracket B into C minus B into C minus again open bracket D exponent uh, power to E and, and closing bracket again closing bracket and there is one division and there is an F. There's an F here. Okay. So now here, in order to convert this, I'll be using a tabular column having three columns. One is called a scanned character. Other one is a stack content. Then what we have is a postfix expression. Postfix expression. Okay. So how the scanning will take place from the left to, to right. Left to right, the scanning will take place. Okay. So what is the first character we are scanning? It is an A. A is the character. So we're not, we are not pushing onto the stack. Instead, we are directly we are adding to the postfix uh, expression string. So A will come here first. Next. Next is what the operator plus operator. We don't have any content 
prior to this there is no content onto the stack so this is the only operator so without checking any precedence we are loaded on to the stack okay then what will be there in the postfix it is as it is only a will be there okay we are not popping now from the stack immediately then then what is that next next itself we are scanning a bracket scanning a bracket what opening bracket so opening bracket directly it will be added to the stack so now we will look at the stack we have plus and also we have a open brace okay open bracket is there so but still your postfix expression is not uh, developed it is there only with a only okay and next express next what the next character what are we going to scan we are going to scan b b okay so b is a character it's an operand okay so directly that will be added to the postfix expression directly that will be added to the postfix expression okay that is done what is the next next we have a multiplication we are scanning a multiplication now 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 when you go for a multiplication compare this multiplication with the anything else now we we have the bracket we immediately we don't have the any operator so we have the bracket here so what do we do we directly we push it onto the we directly push it onto the stack okay so we directly push, push it onto the stack and uh, postfix expression is it is just stayed with the uh, ab only okay next what is the next character the next character is going to be c it's going to be c so the c is what so c if you scan it's a character it's operand directly it will be grown now the postfix expression it's grown to a b c a b c okay after that what do we have now it's a minus it's a minus so as per our example what do we have to do if it is having a precedence lower than the precedence on the stack then what we have to do the higher precedence operator should be moved to the postfix string should be popped out should be moved to the postfix string so now you can see that the scanned operator is moved to the stack and the multiplication operator is appended to the postfix expression why because the scanned operator is having the lower precedence than the content on the stack so higher precedence should not be there only the lower precedence should be there in the stack that's why it's basically it is coming like this okay and the next one is what the next minus is again we are the we are encountering what the open bracket open bracket it's directly it's added to the stack directly added to the stack okay next character is going to be d the next character is going to be d so d is now directly it's added to the postfix expression d is directly added to the postfix expression now comes the exponentiation now comes the exponentiation where exponentiation will be added now we don't have any immediate operator to compare so what will be it will be added to the stack okay but postfix expression it remains same as abc into d abc into d okay so what comes next the next is what the bracket closing bracket closing parenthesis is coming when it comes to the closing bracket parenthesis what we have to do we have to scan it we have to pop it until we encounter this opening bracket okay but what we have to do we have to neglect this bracket also we have to neglect this bracket okay so how do we do this so we have to pop it now we have the scanned character is what scanned character is e uh, okay so anyway no problem after that we are encountering the closing bracket so what is that you can see that here we have popped the exponentiation operator and also we have popped this bracket but the bracket is neglected so finally now what do we arrived to abc star de exponential operator okay fine again, again what do we do again we have an another closing bracket we are encountering so what do we do have to here we have to pop up to here 
you have to pop up to here so minus will go to the post fix expression and this bracket will be neglected okay so how it goes now so now the post fix expression becomes abc star de exponentiation minus okay then what is there now it's a division what is that it's a division now compared to the division got it so which is having the higher precedence now comparing division with the stack the scanned operator is having the higher precedence so straight away it will be added on to the stack it will directly added on to the stack okay then what is that next what do we have we have a character we have a character what is the character that's f so f will be given here okay so next step what once you completed the scanning part of the expression next still we have to empty the stack content empty the stack content how do we empty the stack content so now popping up so when you pop it out what will happen the first one will be the recently one what is loaded here that is the slash so the slash will be added to this then what the plus also will be added so when plus also gets added plus also gets added your final expression will be final expression will be a b star a b c star d e exponential minus f slash the division and addition so that will, this would be your final post fix expression this will be your final post fix expression so if you look into it the given binary the given uh, infix expression that is not arithmetic expression a plus b into c minus d to the power of e e all divided by f is now equal equivalently represented in the form of post fix expression as a b c star d e exponential minus f division and the addition that's how it's basically it is converted so we can convert any given expression any infix expression any infix expression into a suitable post fix expression because the for the computation post fix is most widely used okay thank you